Today we're going to look at how to configure the home page of the AgentPress website. So the two main areas that you configure are featured properties and real estate tips. Oh, yeah, featured properties and real estate tips. So where that happens is in the, you go to the dashboard and just click in the widgets and you'll see there's two areas called featured properties and featured posts. Now you can call these whatever you want. Effectively, these real estate tips are posts and I'll show you how you can have them show up here and the same with the featured properties. So when we click on, let's start with featured properties. Uh, that occurs by dragging a Genesis featured post widget over, which we've already done. Your theme should already be configured with all the settings. Uh, what you can do is choose, I set up a category called featured properties, which pulls the featured properties in. Now that has to be set, and I'll show you how you do that in the post. Uh, and I, you can see here I have five properties called, in, in the category, featured properties. So you just create a, I just created a category called featured properties. So when your theme is blank, you can basically set up, you know, a pro, you know, a category here. You can just, we'll just call it test. And we've added a category called test. So let's see what happens with this featured property. Now remember the newspaper with the pen. Uh, let's go back into the widgets. Widgets. Into featured properties. And let's pick the test category. Let's save it. Let's go back to the site. Now we should only have one property, featured property, show up now which is this because there's only one uh, featured property that has the category of test. Now, it's, it, works, this, it works similar for the real estate tips here, which are the featured posts. And you can see I created a category called property. Again, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, if we look at my posts, I have there are two posts called property, and we have uh, two posts here. Now I have I have the the widget set to show as you can see here. It's going to show three posts. Now you can make this whatever number you want. Let's just add another one just as an example. So let's call it uh, test post three. We're gonna put, it's gonna go into property. Uh, what you do need to do to get the picture is to set the featured image. Now we do that here. And let's just select a file, call it Let's put that on there for now. Uh, use as featured image. It's going to resize it. And we see it here. Let's click Save or Publish. Let's go back to the test site. Click Refresh. And here it is. So that's basic functionality of how these two areas work. Well, let's say you, you want to add information about your real estate company, uh, you know, in addition to what's showing on the home page. So how you can do that is let's go back into widgets and let's drag a, we want it in the featured property area, which is the top part. So let's that, drag a text widget over and we'll just put this about my firm got some dummy text here. Let's save it. Refresh. And again, you can put additional information here. And let's just change this back to show the other four properties. 
do that. From test to featured properties. Let's keep it simple. Let's close that. Let's close that. Maybe let's change. You can drag these to change the order. Now the properties will be on top. Let's refresh. And there's the dummy text. There's the are the posts. Uh, and that's it for now. Stay tuned for additional tutorials from Profound Marketing.